and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Enda, Barmini, welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Please welcome my guest, Kaya Tanga. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> What's going on, Tony? I'm good, man. I'm, good, I'm, good. I'm great, man. First time I heard of you, man. Um, I think it was just when Twitter was coming out. Okay. Uh, this girl's like, yo, man, there's this guy called Kai, Gan- uh, Kai Atlanta. You gotta follow me. He's so funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah, whatever. Mm. And a few years later, shit, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, eh? I know her. I'm kidding. Nah, I, 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 I thought you know her. <laughs> but anyway, how you been, bro? No, I've been good. You know, I've been good. I've been working like you. Yeah. You know, we're all out here just up. Uh, Working hard, you know, yeah. um, and also making sure we live our lives at the same time and not just work without living. And I got to say, you're part of the coolest crew I know in SA, which is the crew that has Caesar's Lomo, uh, <laughs> Anele, <laughs> uh, Trevor Noah, if I'm missing someone. Yeah, Kualisa Jeshana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, what do you need to do to get into that group? Is there an age uh, 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 pay gap or something? Do you have to earn a certain no, amount of money? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's just tax I mean, bracket. No, 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 no. I, 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 you know, I think that you know we we all knew each other before we're like anybody. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Because mm, you all come from Eastern Cape. No, right? no, no. Actually, the only people who really come from Eastern Cape is myself and Kolisa, and um, Anele. She's also from the Eastern Cape, but we like uh, well, Kolisa and I we're also cousins, so yeah. that's the difference. But the others, we all we met everybody else here in Joburg. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay, let's start with, with Anel. How did you meet Anel? Um, we were actually out having drinks somewhere, and she was with some friends of mine, and that's how I met her. Just like that? Just like that. And then we just became good friends after that. And then Trevor, no? Did you meet him while we were doing your stand up comedy? Thing? Actually, yes. I met, <laughs> I, I met him when I was doing, that, doing my stand up many years ago, and yeah. So that, that was like years and years ago. I don't even know what year it was, but it was a long time ago. Maybe. 13 years ago, I don't know. Uh, who's the other one? Caesar. 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 Um, actually, I met Caesar when he was interviewing someone. Uh, I think Kay- Kelly Rowland was here. Mm. And I was in the audience, and I had a question, and I raised my hand. And then he called me by, I had a YouTube channel. Yes, which, yes, yes. And he called me and said, Kaya oh, V. By the way, this is the godfather of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, Kaya V. I was like, oh, Flip, how does he know yeah. my handle? Because no one, I, I thought no one watched my YouTube in South Africa yeah. because this was like, what, 12, 13 years ago. Wow. And 11 years. And no one watched it. I mean, my, my, my channel was very big, like overseas. Yes. And no one watched it in South Africa. So yeah. I was very comfortable just to do, like, and say anything I wanted to say. So I, that t- took me back, and that's when I met him. And then... Uh, the rest is, and then I think a few days later we, you know, actually that evening we all went out for uh, drinks, and but he doesn't drink, mm. and uh, and then someone uh, fix a uh, fixatious who was on fire. Oh, figile, yes. figile. figile so, yeah. and then she was because uh, she was my neighbor because I knew her, and she was like, "What? I can't believe this was stayed out you know, yeah. to have drinks. He never stays out yeah, yeah, for yeah. drinks." <laughs> and then because we're just chatting and having a good time, yeah. and um, and then. You know, you know, I'd come. He'd come to my place to play PlayStation, and uh, Caesar plays PlayStation. Yeah, well, actually, he'd watch. He'd, he was more likely to watch myself and Trevor play PlayStation. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> that's what. <laughs> so they'd come to my place, we'd play PlayStation, and they all would go to his house and play PlayStation because he had a PlayStation, but he never really played it. Yeah, yeah. And what do you guys talk about when you guys are together? No, but anything like. I'm kind uh, meal, right? Give me a meal, babe. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. No, we talk. We talk about like proper, you know. We, we have, oh, I just put a yard. Debates. Okay. No, we have proper debates. or very good discussions. I remember because uh, there was a thing that I um, I sort of started, and we'd have this sushi Mondays and all meet together mm. on a ma- every single Monday, all have uh, sushi, and um, and we'd have these debates. And the guy who actually owned the sushi joint, because I'd always go by myself, like. Yeah. Uh, at least twice or three times a week because I just love sushi that much. Yeah. And on Mondays, then we'd, we'd be together. And he said, and he came to me one day and he said, you know what I love about you guys is that you have a a very interesting relationship because when you're here, you're always debating things. You're mm. always having discussions and yes. de- very big Progressive debates. debates. And he said, you know, in China, because you come in China, it's very funny because like a Chinese person owning a, you know, a sushi joint because... Sushi joins the Japanese yeah. and is a Japanese uh, invention, <laughs> and Japanese and Chinese people don't really yeah, are yeah. supposed to not look like each other. So yeah. I always found that very funny. And basically, what he said was, in China they say people who 
spend time discussing and debating things uh, create very strong bonds and they mm. become better people together. Yes, that's true. And that's true. what he said. And, that's true. And he just came to me and said this. And I d- we didn't do that deliberately. It's just that we're curious people who just enjoy, uh, you know, a little, Chris a, Mines, a, a, yeah. little, a little debate. And mm, that's it, yeah. yeah. And who pays for the bill? Everybody pays for the bill. <laughs> 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 no, I can't but anyway, enough about yeah. that. Let's talk uh-huh. about you, man. Mm. Uh, take me back, right? Because the mm. first time, like, actually, l- l- mm. before we go back, yeah, um, I always tell people I'm broke, but damn, dude, you've been broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to have a broke am. competition, <laughs> you'd, you'd win hands down, dog. Yeah. No, like, look, I'm driving this uh, what uh, Suzuki right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm driving. My father was rich, so <laughs> let's not even. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how broke have you been, bro? Uh, you know, the thing is, like, when you are, and there's a thing, I, I don't think you understand broke mm. if you have, if you come from a place where there was no money in the first place. Mm. So I can't really say that I was broke because, you know, you, you no you've, you've, you've always known what it's like not to have something. Therefore, yeah. Yeah. broke, yeah. broke always implies that you had a lot and then now you don't have. Exactly. Right? So, you got so point, for me, yeah. for, so for me, it was not like I've never understood the concept yes. of being broke. I know like I don't have money, mm. you know, uh, as much money as I want, but I know what it's like not to have anything. Yeah, because yeah. um, I've heard that uh, you're once homeless. Yes, um, yes. You've waited tables, you've done everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I've done that. Yeah, I mean, when I lived in Cape Town, it, it was... Um, you know, because, <laughs> funny enough, because my mom didn't have a job and I was going to this expensive school, the AAA School of Advertising. And um, uh, she, didn't, she, was, she was unemployed mm. and she had these cows and sheep in the village. Mm. And she actually had to sell them in order for me to go to the school. And she didn't sell the horse, ne? You know, no, that was my grandfather's oh, horse. Okay. And so she sold, and then she sold them and we ran out. And then I had to find a place to stay. And so I stayed f- briefly, I think, for a week. Uh, at at the re- where my sister was staying at her res, mm. and I would hide there. I would squat, I'd squat there until they found me, and then I left. Or well, they didn't find me, but I was afraid they'd find me. Then they'd kick it out as well. Mm. So I left, and then that's when I. I was so you were squatting with them for how long? For a week. A week. Yeah. And who was taking care of like the bills and stuff? No, no, no. But it was just thing at res. Mm. So there, there are no bills to pay. Sorry, yes, at res. Yes, yes. And uh, so, so you sneak in in res. Yeah, I, w- I snuck in and I wouldn't get out of the room because if I walked out of the room, people would see that. Yeah, yeah. So, for so a whole week, though. Yeah, a whole week. That's what I did. There was no sun for a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a prison yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah. So eventually, yeah. when do you decide, all right, cool, no, fuck no, it. I was like, then. I gotta go because mm. I also needed to go to college, you know? Mm. Um, so, and I'd forge like a train ticket. So, because uh, in Cape Town, it's like, it just took, we took the trains all the time. So I'd forge the train tickets and I would go uh, to town. How do you forge a train ticket? No, it was very, because I was an art director. Uh-huh. So I was studying art direction. So it was, I had all the equipment ah. to make the things, Shit. to make the points. I think to they be should call you MacGyver, <laughs> 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 not me. <laughs> so that's what I did. And, yeah. then I, and this is the thing. Like, I think desperation kind of forces you to, to, to really think Out of the in, box. To, to be inventive. Yes, you know, and innovative. Survival. Yes, yes, yes. I need yes. to survive. And yes. that's what I did. And, uh, but also, I'd been forging the tickets long before mm. <laughs> because I, 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 I didn't want to spend unnecessary money on transport. So where were you sleeping at the train station? No, I was sleeping in a, there was a flat that was being renovated. Mm. And I would sleep it and I'd go there around seven in the evenings. I'd remove the rubble and I'd sleep there and wake up early before the workers arrived. One and man? Or did yeah, you have just by myself. By yourself. And then I would put the rubble back so that they, w- they wouldn't figure out that there was someone who was sleeping here. And How old are you at this time, bro? Like I'm, what, 19? Yeah, Shit, I'm 19. Kaya. And then I decided this one day they arrived, they arrived early and I had this small bag and I, and I heard them, they're talking and I, I don't know if they arrived early or I overslept. I, I, I just can't quite remember. But I remember, because I always left, slept with all my clothes on because, mm. I mean, I know there was no blanket. Mm. And I took this, uh, this small bag and I grabbed this bag and I just ran out the back door mm. and I just ran and I ran and I ran. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, where am I going to sleep today? Because wow. now, 
surely that they know that someone just came out of they're going to be waiting for you they know that someone so i can't they might lo- they might have locked the place no i can't go there and how were the winters and um it i, I it, it does actually it does more it's actually i don't even remember <laughs> that's how cold it was you know, i don't even remember how they were <laughs> and cuz i ended up sleeping now for a, a long time at at college at the Triple A mm. on the desk there at the school so that's what i did so i didn't have um i uh, so that you'd turn the aircon on so <laughs> so is, and then at this time this is normal to you like this is life well it's not normal you know but it's not a normal thing you know that's not something you want but um mm. uh, you actually think survival is like from like how do i survive today until tomorrow so th- what i'm trying to say is that you've got no time to let this sink in and be like shit this is happening no because <laughs> you're thinking about where am i sleeping next yes yes it's not about you, you know uh, and the thing is i want to talk about is how people think talk about the future how i knew that my life would change you know i knew that this was not my destiny mm. for me i was like i was not thinking about how i'm going to be this you know yeah. person who's written books or who's done it. i was like how can i survive tomorrow hmm. and so i would literally eat one like i'd have a bun hmm. i'd eat a bun and there was a there was a fish and chips shop that was a, around the corner from the triple a yeah. and i'd go to the shop and i'd buy like a, a bun just a bun and i'd buy slip slab chips and I'd, that's all i'd eat um and then if i was like you know that i feel like splurging i'd buy an apple wow <laughs> so <laughs> literally and 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 that's how i lived and it was wow. um I, I, it, it was uh, uh and at this time are you having friends are they judging you what are they saying well they don't know because they don't know because i also had this thing where i think i had a very it's uh, maybe it's pride i don't yeah, know too pride much pride or yeah. arrogance or shame mm. i don't know what it was but i had when I was, because I went to a really good school in East London, where, where my mom managed to take us to a good school called Hudson Park, and living in Danzane in the township there, and you know the typical four-room house in the township. Mm. So we lived in a two-roomed flat. I mean, not two-room flat, but we lived in the two rooms of that four-room house, yes. and we had no electricity, we had no uh, running water, so to go around the back t- to do all of that, and um, so I went to this really good school. So I made no friends mm. in school because. It's like this. If there's kids, there's rich kids. I make friends with them. They might want to come and visit yeah, my yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, and we and don't I, want them. And I don't want them to come to my home yeah. to see that guys. This guy doesn't have have electricity. But you can and, visit them. You know? I, no, I didn't. No, because I visit them, they don't want to visit me. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't make friends with them because I didn't want that. Yeah, and. Um, like even girls, so I, I didn't want to meet girls because if I met them, who's gonna take them to the movies with those money? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so and at so that time you're not meeting any girls when, at well, that time. I, no, I wasn't. I was wow. just like in school. Yes, I mean they. You I, I was surprised them. that they thought I was funny. Yeah, you yeah. know because I talked, but I was like, oh, I think I should stop with the funny before they say. So hey, brother, how about it? <laughs> 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 now wouldn't someone say, hey, dude, you always wearing the same clothes or something well, like you're that? You're in school. You all wear oh, the same clothes. Oh yeah. <laughs> You should be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. but but the funny talk about the, the 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 clothes is that I would always be a little self conscious because I always thought flip. Maybe I wonder if they can smell the paraffin from mm. my clothes because you know you iron to iron our clothes, put in the paraffin stove, boil water on the on the paraffin stove, and all that. So I was a little like, oh my god, I hope they can't smell me. You know that, like, Kaya, you know. Is this, so, I think yeah. you're talking about someone else, dude. Like, it's so, like a movie, bro. No, sometimes I actually say that. Sometimes when I think about it, it always feels like it happened to someone else, yeah. and not to me. And the only time it really hits home is, you know, if I'm asked to go and speak to kids, a uh, motivational thing, and I see kids, and I realize that they remind me of me, and that's when I was like, flip, and I actually get really emotional about it. And then I remember flip, this thing wow. actually happened to me. But when I'm talking to like university kids and yeah. you know other people, then it's not. It f- it really then feels like don't it's don't you to don't else. you miss it though in terms of like no. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of like you know like now we're so fixated mm. on about what we want. 
mm. like all right we already see ourselves wanting like that nice car that yeah. big house whatever mm. that we don't actually get to live and enjoy the moment and at the time it sounds like all you had was the moment yeah but but i didn't enjoy the moment yeah, yeah <laughs> you know yeah. what i'm saying but and, and there's a thing that i was talk, um that i used to do especially when i was this was when i was homeless i actually stole a bible funny enough <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing to steal <laughs> yeah and so fun i actually wrote like a thing that was on on facebook when i used to do anything on facebook yeah. and i said uh, that i stole in this bible and then someone wrote a very very fun funny comment and they said how do you know how would you not? How would you know not to steal the Bible if you didn't have it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I had this point in the Bible. I saw that this, there were these two verses that I I ran into, and then I just remembered all the time. Mm. And the one verse is uh, James one. I can still recite to this day because I would tell myself over and over again this thing, which was considered pure, James one considered. Pure joy, my brothers, whenever I face trials of many kinds, mm. because the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that it may be mature and complete and lack nothing. If any of you lacks anyth- anything, you should ask God, who gives freely to all and without finding fault. Hmm. And I remember when I, was, uh, when I read this verse for the first time, and I was like, oh, I am going through this so that my, I can be i can persevere mm. so that i can have faith mm. so that uh at some point i may lack nothing mm. and then but also god gives freely to all without finding fault so there are steps so there so there's a reason i'm mm. going through what i'm going through and i think i held on i was like i don't know what it is but the perseverance so that i may lack nothing so that at some point yeah i don't know what specifically that thing is yeah. but so I was, I was kind of holding on to that mm. hope and there was the other one where Jane, uh, and, um so there was another one uh, where Job, um, this is after Job has lost it in the book of Job. He's lost everything, you know. All his camels are dead. The servant comes and tells him. His, he was the richest man, like, in the world at the time. And then all his cows and all his sheep and all his fields have burnt down. And then the last servant says, all the children are dead. Mm. And then the, he tears his clothes down and he says, naked I came, naked I shall depart. May the name of the Lord be praised. And I was like, flip, man. This guy says, naked I came. So I, I am not owed anything, right? Mm. So I can't walk around the world like something. I'm owed something. Because if it says, I came naked, I actually don't, this is saying that I don't deserve anything. Yeah, but you can't walk around yeah. naked as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, may the name of the Lord be praised. And I was like, mm. okay, cool. Um, he's not complaining about the situation. Yeah. And uh, at the end of it, um, you know, obviously I never read the whole thing, but at the end of it, you know that he, he actually, everything he lost, he gains like multiple times over. And in hindsight, if you look back, Mm. you're like, actually, oh, I had to go through that to get to where I'm at right now. Yeah. You know, but anyway, let's talk about Mm. the good stuff. Yeah. Um, first I heard of you. Mm. Okay. I'm not into advertising. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about what I'm about to say, but okay. I knew it was a big deal that you were at Coca-Cola. Yes. It was a big deal, ne? Well, I mean... Uh, at the time. <laughs> well, it was a big deal. It's like Coca-Cola is like a global company, and um, it definitely was a big deal. Mm-hmm. There's no question about it. Um, and I was shocked that I even got the, <laughs> the job. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'd get it because I came straight from advertising and the marketing position and i was out there looking after 26 brands um and working on this brand that everyone every single person in advertising marketing would want to work on yeah. and i was that guy working on this job what was your title so, oh, it was very long it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was called was uh, the paycheck senior long as well communications what senior communications manager content excellence and digital how much were you getting paid at that uh time? you know what i was I'm, I was making a lot for some, because I just left advertising. Advertising doesn't pay. Mm. And I went to work. And I remember when I was signing, uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> my contract was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I did not even negotiate. I was like, I'm signing this right now. I hope they don't change their mind, you know. So I think for what it was, it, it, was, it was very good money. Um, yeah. and, but then a little bit later, I was like, I think I should ask for more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you were happy nonetheless. Yeah, I was happy. I was happy. Um, one thing I like about you is that you're very futuristic in terms of, um, you know, you started YouTube when no one knew what YouTube was. Um, and 
I feel like you're always looking for the next. Because after Coca-Cola, you went to Amstel. Yeah. Why did you leave Coca-Cola? Because I felt... Okay, this was a weird thing about Coca's because because I really, really, really loved it. Like, mm. I it's enjoyed it so much. It was... And, you know, I had so much freedom to do so much, so many cool things. Uh, we made ads and... Did you come up with the name thing? Yeah, I worked on the names thing. Oh, so that was dope, bro. It, that it, was it, dope. It, it actually ended up going to... Um, Usually, lots of people work on it. I always try not to take credit for everything, even though it's nice when people say it was all of you. Yeah. You know, it's usually a lot of people work on something. And I had, um, so what we worked on was that the campaign was so successful. We made this ad just for South Africa, and uh, it was it actually Australia was the first ones to kind of do the main mm. the names thing, but at a smaller scale. And we did it this gigantic, gigantic scale in South Africa. To such an extent that what we created here was actually taken to 98 countries. Wow. So it ended up going to all over the world. It, it was here. like what the, Yeah, yeah. We, like we, we transformed into what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and it ended up like they took the campaign and just went all over the world. And it was quite, um, it was quite flattering. And then, wow. and then like from then, it just snowballed into better and better things. So, so why just would you want to leave there? Well, because I felt that I'd been in the same role for a number of years. Mm-hmm. And uh and I did not see the a, any the any growth. progression, the growth. Mm. And how long were you there not, for? I was there for six years. Oh, that's long. And time. I thought I was gonna. I, was, I didn't get to go, go overseas, to work <laughs> overseas. And I was like, you know what? I can't be staying here. And yeah. and then I, that's when I went to the and Heineken, where I worked on Amstel. Oh, okay. And uh, I was there for two years. Yeah. And I, I mean, not to say anything, but. I feel like I, I made no impact there whatsoever. Mm. And, and I don't, and I did not like that. Yes. And I went because I wanted to learn like a lot more uh, about marketing. I wanted to do something I didn't know. Yeah. Be and, out of your comfort zone. Yeah, be out of my comfort zone. And that's, what, that's why I left Coke. Mm. I said, like, I want to do something I don't know. I want to be afraid again. Because when I started um, at Coke, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. And, you know, by the time I left six years later, it was just brilliant. And I, you know, it was, uh, my career was built, you know. And then at Amstel, I really, when I was at Heineken, I really felt like that I'd stagnated. Mm. And became uh, redundant. I, yeah. And I felt like I, I wasn't, but also, and I feel like I had, and I think I was being humbled at the same time because I went there and I was like, you know, uh, I was told that, you know, you've got to transform the brand. I was like, you know what? I'm kind of a bitch. I'm going to change this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can transform this. You know? <laughs> let me transform <laughs> Yeah, let me transform it. <laughs> and I did not change it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, and, and, and you had high expectations and, and for I, yourself. And, I, and, and, and uh, you know, I, and I think I was like, oh, flip, this is, I'm very disappointed in myself. Yeah. And not be, and not to look and say, okay, well, but the company is doing this or that person is, is being like that and it's, I, I was not able to move the needle because mm. I really thought I would be able to because every single, everywhere I worked, I'd been, I'd become a rock star, mm. if you will, because I'd achieve the results. I'd, in advertising, I'd win the awards. I'd do, so I had the expectation that like, well, what? Speaking about awards, I heard yeah. the Laurie Awards, it's crazy. Yeah, it's no, 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 not that the Lurie's are are great, you know, they're fantastic, but... I'm too old now. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've tapped out. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I've tapped out. I've tapped out. So, what do you go after? I'm still there. So then I went to Rain. So Rain oh, is. Oh, so this is recent. It is very recent. So I've uh, yeah. So Kiwi know who was meant to be giving us tickets and stuff for Boomtown and shit. Yeah, <laughs> but no, but also it's so funny. I always say that it's interesting that the higher you go in any organization, especially a big corporate, is that you you actually have less control. Power yeah. In terms of like. Uh, it's more the people who report to you tend to be the ones who have the tickets. Yeah, and yeah. Things. You just delegate. You, you, you know, you have to ask them for your own tickets. <laughs> 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 Even though, like, I but I signed this check. Why am I begging for tickets? You know, so yeah. So yeah, so Rain is, is very recent. I started there in October last year. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. Uh, listen, everywhere I see you, always with girls, man. Huh? Well, do, do you they, love they, girls or they love you? I, I just don't think they hate me. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what it is? I can tell you because um, wh- one thing that people d- I always say to people is that I think one of the reasons that I'm comfortable around women and women may be comfortable around me is, is actually for a very different reason. 
Uh, I actually write about this in uh, my book, To Cook Myself, yeah. where I talk about my nine years of celibacy, oh, where, where yeah. I was celibate for nine years. So yeah. when I met women, I, I, always, I, was, I always met them because I wanted to know the person. Ah, I wanted to know who they not were. because you I was to. Yeah, I was always interested in the person. Yes. And I think what happened... Nine years? Uh, yeah. So and I think what's happened subsequent to that is because... So that spilled over into So you weren't getting any now. action for I nine years? I wasn't getting any action, yeah. And then when you got honey, what would you do? Uh, well, I prayed to the Lord Jesus, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> would you, would you, would you uh, yank one out? Uh, I'm a gentleman, I don't talk about this. <laughs> 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 but it's in your book. You didn't mention uh, it in your book. Well, no, I didn't. I, in my book, I mentioned that I didn't have sex for nine years. But you did other things. Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you ever planning on getting serious, bro? Sorry? Are you ever planning on getting serious? What, like, what is with, being serious? With the lady, like sitting down, you know. I, I've been in, in several... Serious relationships, yeah. Uh, yeah so um, a lot of people actually said I must ask you about Doctor Kanye. Oh my goodness gracious! Me. What happened there? <laughs> um, uh, is it okay if I d- don't talk about it? But uh, we, it's up we, to you, bro. Yeah, we know, like we no longer in a relationship, and mm. I think I don't know. Yeah, I don't even it. know who yeah. that is. I don't no, know. No, what no, happened. no. Yeah, so we, I, she, is, she is an incredible person. Like mm. really, uh, like truly, truly remarkable in mm-hmm. terms of like strength of personality, her presence, her character. Um, and intelligence, mm. and she's a very, very beautiful person. Yeah. And um, I, I, I think that you know the distance as well was just not going to happen. Oh, it was a long distance. I, I'm in Cape Town. I've just moved to Cape Town, mm. and yeah. So, oh, so it's, 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 it's your girlfriend mm. or your ex, yes, and you guys yes, broke up. Yes. So what's the big deal? What that happens the all the deal? time. You know, I know. It's 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 it's, it's recent. That's why. It's recent. Oh, you still? Yeah, <laughs> it's recent. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in the feeling, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's recent. Ah, <laughs> nah, I got yeah, you. I yeah. got you. Uh, have you been to the mountain, bro? I'm a closer man. Yeah, oh, of course I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I heard it's different because I went to the mountain as well. Yeah. I'm vendor. Okay. I heard the closer experience is different. How different is it? I, I wouldn't know because I don't know. It's the only one I know, yeah, and yeah. I don't know how <laughs> how yours <laughs> is. Maybe I should take you one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what I, I it's I wouldn't know how different it is. But I know, I don't know if yours is as secretive as ours. I was yes, secretive. It is. Yes, it is. You can't be talking about it. Yes, yes. Um, you, uh, you did it change your life in any way though? Because it changed mine. <clears throat> What I wouldn't say that it really changed because for me, my life was going to change anyway because I was 18 and I was going to go. I'd, it was, I'd, I'd just finished my trick. I was 18. My life had to change. Yeah. So, but also, I had always been a very thoughtful person. I'd always been, um, I was not like a wild, per, young, wild youth. Mm. Um, and uh, I, I just, I just think I was still me, but I was maybe a, a little bit more conscious. I think yeah. of the things that I was doing yeah. uh, than before. But I was, I don't think it changed me that much, mm. um, because I'd also was a, at a young age. I was also quite weirdly enough quite deeply religious. Mm. So I mean, I I remember at ten, I read the entire Bible. Wow. Um, even though there were lots of parts that I didn't understand, yeah. so I read the whole thing and. And so, and then I started questioning religion itself. Oh, okay. And then I was like, if, if God exists, why is there evil? Maybe there are two equally powerful gods who are fighting. Mm. So, the, the, you know, that's a, those are the things that I would, I would think about. And so... At I, 10? Well, when I got older, oh, you know, okay. like maybe 14, 15. <laughs> okay. About those things. <laughs> and well, I started questioning. And then I got back into my... What's your conclusion? No, my conclusion is... That you know, there's good in the world and there's evil in the yeah. world, and it is up to us to choose which part we want to to carry with us and what kind of impact we want to leave behind. So, if I meet someone, do I do I want to uh, leave them feeling worse, or do I want them feeling better than oh, I left them? Got you. And and I think those are the kinds of little things that I think you want. And and I think we should always try to we should strive to leave people feeling better than we found them. Yeah. Are you reading anything at the moment? What are you reading? I'm <laughs> I'm really trying to write more than I'm trying to read at this point. So yeah. I, there's a book that I'm trying I'm writing. My publisher doesn't know I'm writing it yet, and because it's also very different from anything I've written before. Yeah. Um, 
and it's also very different from anything that you will find in the shops, mm. it, like in the bookstores. So, and, and I almost feel like I need to write it first before I talk about it. I show it to my publisher because if I just say I have this idea, they won't understand it. Is it about your life? No, it's not it? about my life at all. Or is it like fiction? It's not even. It's it's not even fiction. It's um, I it it it's it's almost like disc- it's almost capturing moments, mm. but the the emotional parts of those moments, mm. and imagine capturing a moment during say a breakup. Yeah. And you find the most emotive moment in that, and it's dialogue, and that's yeah. it. And you don't know who's, you don't know who's saying what, whether it's him or it's her. You, you just have, you just figure that out on yeah. your own. It's, it's um. How do you deal with breakups? Um, Are you one of those guys that are like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go wild and crazy? No, 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 no. I don't go wild and crazy, <laughs> but I think that. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's just another no, weekend. No, no, no. Fast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.